recognize that from the song. I'm always trying to get my name here. We'll, get our, we'll hop on early here. Morning, Ed. Hey, good, good morning, Steve. Hey, did anything ever happen with your guy down there that you sent that info? I've never heard from anybody. Okay, I haven't either. Uh, uh, I assume he's gone away, but I'll try to reach out to him today. Okay, yeah, I, I figured that uh, he, he may have decided against another, do another approach or something, you know? Yeah. But Not I, surprising. <laughs> right. Good morning, gentlemen. Whoops, that's the wrong. Hi, George. Guy. How are you, ma'am? Morning, George. This is my test run. All right. Still have a face for radio. We have got the launch course kicking off, and uh, I'm going to log in in about 15 minutes. So I apologize. I'm meeting a bar. Uh, how's everybody doing this morning? Awesome. Awesome, Ed. I see you're at a hospital. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I. No, I'm at Panera. I'm out in the hall. Oh, you're at Panera. <laughs> they let you out. <laughs> uh, Joe's. Joe's sitting opposite me. <laughs> That's hysterical. So You're much trying to move. It, try to move move it along, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Do you do you need me on the launch thing there today? If you have time, great. You know, you're always welcome. You guys, I, I, and all, I, I hope all of you know, if you've been through the launch course, you're welcome to audit it anytime. So, you know, I know it's kind of last minute, but I, I, I know I say that periodically, but maybe uh, the next launch course is going to be in April. And I, I'd suggest that maybe... Um, module one... So from 10 to 11 on Monday, on Tuesday, and then uh, modules nine through 12. And that's the only places we have evolved. Revolved, I heard someone say that the other day. It's not, we're not, it's not an evolution, it's a revolution. So, um, those have evolved. So what we've done is in the launch course, we're really focusing in on KPIs um, as 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 living representation uh, as the flash report as living representations of some of the objectives and key results, and as the locus for accountability. And so you know some 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 evolved discussion of flash reports. Um, and I'm going to call on the community. You know we have a standard 12 line flash report that's. Very straightforward. It's a great starting point for pretty much every business, whether you're in professional services or manufacturing, what have you. But um, you guys are working with, you know, you're working with clients, working with flash reports all the time. If you have like, listen, I found this to be super effective with medical practices. Great. Let's let's start, let's start cataloging these. Um, your logo on top. Now, you know, full credit where credit's due. And um and then the other thing is, it's really, uh, I'm going to increase, you know, as many of you are using the senior leadership alignment report and workshop to great effect with your clients. 
And, and it, is, it has a great logical place as one of the options we can deploy in the early stages of an engagement, right? Is, is the senior leadership team aligned on where the business is today and its capacity to get where it wants to be tomorrow? And uh, so those are the two, they're, they're not monumental changes. It's stuff you've heard about before, but we're, we're now including them in the launch course. And you're going to hear me talking about them, uh, you know, at a commensurate level uh, going forward. So I've been working, around, I've been working so, so much, guys. I, you know, I love my job, but uh, I've lost track. I thought today was Monday. I thought today was Monday. I just asked Sarah how her weekend was. <laughs> Losing track of the days. So... <laughs> Uh, how's everybody doing? Any topics you want to kick around? Oh, come on, man. This is not a shy group. Bob, how are you? Uh, what are you thinking for uh, for Charleston? I'm excited for your presentation. Oh, or Mass, I won't be there, but but uh, actually, one of the things, Bob, while we're while we're here, make use of, you know use of valuable time. Would love to do that master class virtually. I think you and I discussed that briefly, but would love, love to do that virtually um, after after the conference because I know there are people who uh, would really benefit from. Sure. Financial intelligence. Yep. The balance sheet. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, Marie's kind of going to go over the three financial statements, kind of what they're used for, and then how to analyze them. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about, uh, you know, making sure you have apples to apples when it comes mm -hmm. to comparison to industry standards. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some KPIs of, you know, and why, what KPIs people use. We're going to start with the simple ones. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go through that case study I talked to you about. And then uh, I will demo a tool. Um, so the case study will be, will be, everybody will be in separate groups. And, you know, each group will do a report out based mm -hmm. on what they think. Uh, they're going to have to answer four questions uh, on this company. And then we'll demo the tool and we'll talk more about that case study. So I, I think it's going to be a really good uh, thing. So, yeah, I'm sad to be missing it, honestly. And, you know, I, I've said this, I'm just going to keep saying it. We're changing the format. I, it's a shame. We're going to change the format. So the next time I've asked several of you and the consensus was that trying to have another conference in May was too soon. It's really two months, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to skip having another conference. We're going to we're going to get back on tempo. So our next live event will be in November, somewhere. My guess would be Charleston. Um, but that's really up to you if you guys, you know. And so in what we'll do in May is we're going to do the certification workshop, and we'll do that um, in Boston. And um, you know, away we go. But. But there's a slate of master classes coming out. We're we're introducing um, launch boosters, which is a series of of master classes on specific topics in the launch course. So we can really cement those concepts and start working with them. And you guys are welcome to participate in those. And uh, and then we'll have a slate of ongoing webinars. And the tempo is going to be a webinar every. Um, every two weeks. Those will be recorded, put in the library for, for us. And uh, oh, and heads up, um, I'm going to be, it won't impact any of you guys because you're members, you won't even notice, but we're going to be closing the community. The community is for members only. So we're going to make it private uh, is, the, is the technical term. And if people want to join, great. Become a, you know, join us. But you can't just parachute in. So, and, I, and we haven't had a problem with that, but I just want to be able to be, um, some of the things we do are, are ours, they're proprietary. And so, the, you know, the community is properly a, a closed space for members, not a marketing, uh, not a marketing platform. So you won't even, you literally won't notice because the, the technology sees that you're a member and in you go. So... 
I'm high energy this morning, guys. We got, I, I love, I love, uh, we're going to have some fun with a launch course. We've got a really good group. I'm looking forward to introducing them to you. How many people, George? I've got uh, a little under 10. Hmm. And these are all, these are, these are senior, senior guys like you. Um, and yeah, what's, there are several cool, good, cool, you know, comments I could make, but, um, so, so, you know, these are people who found us mm. uh, and because I haven't really had the marketing engine, you know, churning on growth drive, but these are people who found us, which is great. Yeah. So good. I have to remind myself not to change, like, don't go and change anything because this is, <laughs> this is uh, you're going to, we're getting, there's, there's a uh, light at the end of the tunnel is the wrong term, but the dev cycle, you know, it's been a, it's been, um, some significant work when we lost core value as an analysis tool, significant work to, to, to make the, the course hundred with, instead of saying, okay, well, you have core value as the analysis tool. We now have clarity, uh, which is coming along beautifully. Ed, thanks for asking. Ed asked over the weekend yesterday at some point, mm -hmm. clarity is coming together uh, very nicely. And, and, uh, it's 100% OKR going forward, which is exciting. And I've I finished this morning at about 5 a.m. Uh, the Senior Leadership Alignment Workshop deck uh, has been completely upgraded. So uh, Jack did the first pass, and I did a did a work through, and uh, and it's it's cool. It you know, well, I won't get into. It's it's cool. So, all right, guys, I've got to drop off, but I it will not end the meeting. Um, so carry on. I'm going to go and do the launch course. You guys, I'll, I'll have a great week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you. Take care, George. Good it says end, so long. But have a good day. End meeting from all. No, I'm going to leave the meeting, and I'm going to make who wants to be the moderator. Steve Duke, you are at the first nine on the list. You guys have anything? Steve, I, I heard, uh, I found out a dirty little secret of yours uh, this past week. I was speaking to uh, Steve Darnell at uh, VFD Pro, and he told me he that you mentioned were, that. But yes, he he told me that you were one of the uh, beta testers. That I am. Tell me, how, how do you see it, uh, you know, working on, on the U.S. platform? Do you think it's going to be robust enough? Yeah, gonna... I, I don't have any great concern in that regard. Yeah. I, well, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty good tool. Yeah, one of my concerns is that they don't really have any, um, they don't have any APIs that allow you to extract the data and use it anyplace else other than, I guess, uh, you know, an Excel export. You'd have to use a third-party application to transfer the data and take it from there to whatever backend platform you're using. I like the platform. I, I like this. I, you know, I like the the program. Just would have preferred if they had a little more, a better integration uh, backend. Yeah. Well, as you're aware, they're, you know, it's, it's they're, you know, you know, with a cliche, I guess, uh, changing the tires on the car while it's going down the highway. So, so, so that could very well come, especially if some people, to, you know, more more than a couple people ask for it. So, yeah, I hear that. From what I hear, they're doing uh, March first, the uh, full product launch. Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, have you finished your your review of of you know of their? Uh of the platform are you pretty much comfortable using it already or you're still waiting for them to finish up uh, wrap up the beta test no i i've used it a couple of times already uh but i'm still going through the training which i think concludes in sometime in late march Got it. and uh you know the, the trick is to get like every, all the tools that we use get business owners to think that it makes sense You know, part, part of the challenges, you know, for us as coaches, you have to have a tool set that someone else can either manage and implement, because if you have to use it yourself all the time, you know, with your, your clients and you're just, 
forever busy. Yeah. You can't really scale. That's part of the challenge. Well, I'm thinking, and it, and it, it definitely is still thinking since it's, uh, uh, but I've got a, a local accountant CPA that uh, that I that I know pretty well. So if it gets to the point where you know someone needs to review the chart of accounts or do some really nitnoid stuff, then then I'll I'll collaborate with his or his organization. Yeah, our challenge really is, you know, because we work with a handful of multiple, uh, with um, a handful of uh, fractional CFOs, is really getting consistency in the way they produce the data and the way they deliver the data to the, you know, to our clients. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's 30 or 40 FPNA tools out there. I don't have to tell you about all of them. Um, and, you know, number one, you know, getting anything in, in a consistent report, either requires a lot more work by the CFOs to, you know, uh, fix their back end to do it and they, they end, end up charging the client or, um, you know, the source of the information and you have to kind of work everything through to make sure that, that the, data, the integrity of the data is good. So, you know, that's why I like, I, what, I, what I like about BFD, it would resolve those problems for us anyways. Yeah. And Thank VFD, you. like any other tool, is you know another cliche: it's garbage in, garbage out. So you need to make sure that uh, you know the chart of accounts is set up right. And you know, yeah, well, it's, that, that's typically you know the the, the CFO will, will take care of that to make sure that all that is resolved. Uh, but even so, I mean, you know, if, if, if one per, if one's working in Giraffe and the other one's working in uh, in VFD Pro and others working in you know, these other platforms. Then typically, what happens is the data doesn't always look the same. So, you as a consultant have to spend a lot of time figuring everything out. And if you have something consistent, it makes it easier for you to take a quick look and know exactly where you're at. Yeah. So, we're working with some of my clients. The recommendation is to let them own the outcome, right? How will be measurable? Sorry about the camera here. Is that an opportunity to teach them how to be self-managed? Delegate that down. Down. It's not delegable. Joe, I didn't quite understand your question. Yeah, so, Bob, you're on, you're on mute. If you're trying to scale this yourself, how do you get the the owner to self-report and then analyze the data from there versus, or is that keep it a proprietary secret, proprietary? In, in terms of what you're talking, you're asking me the question in terms of getting... Well, you're just talking about how you can't scale yourself and that no, no, no. you're so, concerned so, about. Yeah, so if I have multiple clients, you know, you know, as George has mentioned, that we see ourselves really as the, as the architect and, and general contractor of the process, but really want to, you know, have a focus and see what's really going on, um, you know, in advance. So you know, aside from having an execution platform, you have, a, you have to have a place where you can actually bring the data into a dashboard where you can see what's going on. Uh, part of the challenge is, you know, being able to manage many of those things happening at the same time. Otherwise you're limited to what you have to kind of watch over all the time and, and review and check the data. So in terms of VFD Pro, they, they do an import directly from a QuickBooks or a Xero or whatever it is that the client is using um, or some kind of Excel spreadsheet, which can be exported from maybe some of these other ERP systems. Uh, but the challenge, quite frankly, is when you're having a conversation with, uh, you know, the, the CFO, not so much the business owner, because the, the job of the CFO is to, you know, have that conversation with the owner. Uh, but, you know, from our perspective, we're looking at the, the value growth and some of the KPIs that we're really managing from a, a larger perspective is that every time you have to have that conversation, you don't have to go through the process of being able to look at the data. You want to know the data is coming in and, and being managed in a reliable, robust way. 
and that the reporting that it's the report that's producing or the, the 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 numbers of the metrics is producing are also consistent so that way you can take a look at one page in 30 seconds and see if something is amiss or if there's something that you know everything is working fine then you don't really need to have a conversation often you know we have you have meetings with clients or even internal uh, business meetings and everyone kind of spends a lot of time on status quo and reporting that's a waste of time from from our perspective we really focus on what areas are not working and what can be done you know what what resources and tools can be provided in order to be able to to push them forward so you know a lot of this automation stuff that we're talking about uh, even for example with vfd is really to make sure that we can kind of clear out the things that don't really need to be discussed. Hey guys, I'm really sorry to interrupt, but Zoom will not let me start a webinar under a completely different number unless I kick you guys out. Kick you guys out. I really All apologize. Right. I'm hey, sorry. George, this is really important. We have to stay. <laughs> well, unfortunately for you, Steve, I have the God key. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. All right, gents. Have a great day. Guys, great I'm week. sorry. I'll okay. see you next week. Bye. Be well. Ciao. Bye.